Hi again. Okay, so we're back to read a book. Now today we are talking about the letter E, right? An elephant starts with the letter E. And I got to thinking, have you ever wondered what it would be like if you had an elephant or if I had an elephant? I really never thought about it before, but we are going to find out what happens when a little girl has an elephant. You ready to read it with me? Let's get started. I've Got an Elephant, written by Anne Ginkle, illustrated by Janie Bynum. I've got an elephant who sleeps in my bed in Superman pajamas that are yellow, blue, and red. Though other kids have teddy bears to cuddle up tight, I've got an elephant to hug me every night. But when I go to school, he gets lonely and then he goes out and brings home an elephant friend. I've got two elephants who come with me to school. The kids on the bus all think we're really cool. They know their ABCs and can count to 10 by twos. They help me with my reading if I ever get confused. But when I go shopping, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got three elephants who run through the mall making stops at all the shops they love the best of all they wriggle into fancy shoes and try on every dress sometimes i have to scold them because they make an awful mess but when i go swimming they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend i've got four elephants who swim in the pool they're really good at the backstroke as a general rule they splash each other silly when it gets too hot, a cool spray of water really hits the spot. But when I go to ballet, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got five elephants who dance so gracefully. They've learned how to point their toes and how to bend their knees. My ballet teacher says that they make a pretty sight in their pretty pink tutus and their ballerina tights. But when I go to movies, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got six elephants who love the movies so. They get drinks and popcorn to munch on at the show. If the movie gets too scary, then they hide their little eyes with their big floppy ears and cry elephant cries. But when I go fishing, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got seven elephants who fish so patiently. They sit together on the bank as quiet as can be. They hardly make a sound. They never breathe a word. Elephants in fishing hats, it's really quite absurd. But when I go play dress up, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got eight elephants who prance down the stairs, pretending they are royalty and putting on airs. They gather around the table for a royal English tea, sipping from their teacups and having fun with me. But when I go sledding, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got nine elephants who share my little sled with two sturdy runners that are painted bright red. We sit by the window and wait for it to snow. Then we climb on that sled and down the hill we go. But when I take a bath, they get lonely and then they go out and, and bring home an elephant friend. Enough! I've got 10 elephants who live in the zoo with a tiger, a crocodile, and 20 kangaroos. I visit them on Sundays and bring them things to eat, popcorn and pizza, and a special peanut treat. But when I get lonely, I go out and then I find another playmate, I make another friend. The end. Wow, so I thought we were gonna find out what happens when she had one elephant, but she had 10 in the end, and she had to send them to the zoo because that is too many elephants for one girl to have in her house. One is too many. Um, so did you hear all the rhymes in that book? I loved the rhymes, right? 
Um, okay, everybody. So remember, E sounds like E, E for elephant or E for enough which is what she yelled when the 10th elephant came home. So enjoy your work and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.